Alright, this video is about checking your charging system and also replacing the stator and regulator rectifier. You want to set your multimeter to volts DC um, and take your positive lead, put it to your positive terminal and your negative lead to your negative lead, uh, negative terminal on the battery. You crank the bike up, warm it up. Once it's nice and warm, you want to bring the RPMs to about 5,000. Your charging system should be putting out about 14 volts in the neighborhood of 14 volts at 5,000 RPMs once warm. If it's not doing anything close to 14, you got a problem. In my case, I was getting about 10.5 volts DC at 5,000. Right off the bat, I knew something was wrong. At the same time, if you rev it up higher than 5,000 and you see the volts creep up over 15 volts, then you got a voltage regulator rectifier problem and you're going to want to replace it. Uh, I recommend replacing it with the OEM parts. You know, bike Japanese, put a Japanese OEM part. This is your stator right here. Um, and you want to find the leads where the connector is at. So, on this bike here, you see the three yellow leads. That's what is coming out of the stator. You want to follow the harness, which goes behind the frame right around the valve cover. And, um, like I said, on this bike, it's, uh, it's a tight squeeze, but most sport bikes are like this. So what I did uh, previously is I, I just removed the uh, bracket that holds the uh, regulator rectifier just so I could fit my hands in there, and I was able to pull the uh, connector. The connector sits actually behind the frame, so I had to pull it out just so I can get access to it. What helps, what helped me just now, uh, well, usually every time I do it on this bike, is if you just remove that one bolt that holds the uh, radiator in place, the frame, it gives you just a couple of millimeters of clearance. You can push the actual radiator forward, and you know your hand should have enough space. Once you get access to it, the way you want to check it, you would disconnect it from the actual main wire harness. This part is coming from the stator. Okay, you don't want to. You want to test the side that goes to the stator, not the side that goes to the actual main wire harness. Okay, so once that's disconnected, what you want to do real quick, check for the stator is, you want to take your meter, let me grab it over here. Alright, you want to take your meter here, and you want to set it um, to your ohms setting. What you want to do is check for short to grounds. Alright, so this, if you can see that symbol right there, that's your um, your ohms right there, resistance. All right, so it looks something like this. So you take the actual stator connector, you put your uh, positive lead of the meter in one of the legs, just like that. And then you would take your um, the negative lead on the meter, and you just put it to ground. Okay. So with that being done, if you get any kind of numbers on your meter, your stator is done. You need to replace it. Okay, the last check to um, inspect your stator would be the uh, no load output from the stator. And this one you got to do with the bike running at 5,000 RPMs. You want to change your meter and you want to set it to uh, the volts AC, which in my meter it'll be this one here. Change the volts AC put one lead in one of the legs of the stator and you put the other lead in the other leg of the stator. Crank the bike, start it up, run it up to about 5,000 RPMs and you should be getting roughly about 65 volts okay, on your meter. Um, in my case, the spec for my bike is actually 65 volts or more. Anything and along those lines, I got a good stator. Um, with my stator here being done, I was getting about 15 volts at 5,000 RPMs. My stator was pretty much done. Alright, so now we're going to take out the uh, stator cover. Um, so you want to take off the perimeter bolts. Um, they're all 8 millimeters that go around the stator cover and the actual starter gear. Alright, so I wanted to show you um, once you take the actual 8 millimeter perimeter bolts off and you take the actual um, cover off the starter gear inside there's another 8 mil bolt right there so you want to take that off 
Otherwise, you'd be spending all day to try to take this cover off. It's never going to come off. Yeah, a couple of pry points on the actual case itself, such as here. Slowly, you know, what you want to do with not too much pressure is kind of pry one side and lift up on the other side. You just basically kind of want to shimmy it off. So like I said, by doing those tests in the beginning, it can easily tell you um, if your stator is bad or not. Alright, so now what you want to do is, you want to take off the actual coils off. Um, what you're going to do is take out these three Allen bolts and this one here. This one here just holds the wiring harness out of place so the flywheel doesn't snag it up. But anyways, so you want to take off the old gasket. All right, so that comes off just like that. And in here, I took the bolts off, the three bolts, and that one small one that holds the grommet in place, or actually the harness. So, we'll take that off. Um, take this one off here. So you put that there. And um, let's go ahead and pull the old grommet and the harness off. Harness off. And then we can just pop the stator out and that should be it. So new stator's on. Just the new gasket. Got it on there. Um I use a little bit of uh some of that liquid sealant, gasket sealant, put it on the actual half moon grommet and a little bit on the case. Just a thin layer. You'd probably be alright without it but you know, it's a good safe measure. Um also put a little bit of blue Loctite on the bolts, on the four bolts that hold the uh, harness and the actual stator uh, coil itself. And you, what you want to do is probably get some, uh, some cleaner, and you want to clean the actual surface, the gasket surface of the whole cover. Um, so clean that very good. Alright, so the gasket itself is on, and that's why the uh, dowel pin is crucial. It acts as a locator for your gasket, and it helps it stay in place. So you want to line it up, put the gasket in place. I'll put a little bit of oil on the gasket surface just so it maintains the alignment for the gasket and then you can go ahead and put the uh, stator cover on. I'm going to grab a mallet, we'll help out a little bit and go ahead and tap it in place. Uh, you want to torque down the um, stator cover bolts, the 8 millimeter bolts. Uh, the spec for this bike here is 10 newtons uh, or 7 foot pounds. It's not much, so you don't want to go ahead and crank down on these too much. Yeah, a torque wrench it helps. Um, I've done I've done a few of these already, so I'm pretty comfortable. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the, uh, the actual starter gear in. Put it in as an assembly. Gear in. There's also a um, another washer on the outside, so make sure that's, that's there, alright? Alright, make sure you got the washer. There should be a washer. I don't know if you can see that. There's a, there's a washer on the actual um, outer shaft right there. new regular rectifier. Um, with electric parts you want to put, if you have dielectric grease, you can go ahead and put a little bit on the actual pins. And also if you put it on the um, on the new connector for the uh, stator itself, 